Good morning, everybody. You know, I'm always looking for a good opportunity to channel my inner Harrison Ford or Indiana Jones. So it's hot today, so I get to wear my hat. I'm in the Split Planner 2.0 trial. You may remember it from earlier this year. That's where we took a planner equipped with in command 1200 and sure drive and we took the odd rows and we planted them to a specific hybrid and population and we took the even rows and we planted them to a different hybrid and different population so what i wanted to do was create a unique learning environment and i, I think that we've achieved that so we're on a 38 inch row here some of you guys watching this video, likely a lot of you are on a 30 inch system. Most corn is bred for 30 inches. In cotton producing areas, a lot of times the planter that plants the corn is the same planter that plants the cotton. I just said plant a lot, but you get the idea. So if we're gonna plant corn on wider rows, what can we learn about that? There's been a, a lot of population studies out there, universities doing, private groups doing, I'm not trying to say that any of that research is not valid or say that what we're doing here is brand new, but I do think it is unique simply for the fact that within the same planter pass, we've got two different hybrids, which is not that groundbreaking, but we've got two different populations and we're alternating that row to row across the whole planter. So we really get an insider's look at uh, how this crop grows through the season. So, I mean, I'm going to turn the camera here in a minute and show you some things on the app we're going to look at the stalks i'm going to point out a few things that you might look at as you scout your crop you know obviously one of the things that most producers want to do is they want to pull ears and look at the ears so you could compare you know uh, size of the cob number of kernels around how many long okay most of you guys are probably used to doing that some other things that you might want to consider doing is looking at your brace roots. How consistent are they? Look at each one of these joints. How consistent are they going through there to kind of give you an idea of your emergence. And you could even walk along through your crop and look at your ear height. Is your ear height very erratic? You have one ear up here and another one's at your waist. If so, that may be pointing to problems you've got with emergence. Is that planter related? likely we don't know for sure uh, but that's something that's really easy to kind of check as you uh, as you scout your crop it's also something that you can look at when you're on the combine and you're harvesting it's pretty easy to see that ear is it a straight line across the field or does it look like this you really want things to be as consistent as possible in a corn crop like a lot of you guys know it's extremely sensitive to management it's sensitive to being too close to its neighbor uh, and we want to do everything we can do to ensure that the corn crop gets a really good start. So we're going to swap to Agfinity Mobile, and then we'll come back to the camera, and I'll point a few things out uh, here at the ground level. Thanks for watching today.